Stop, what? Hang on. Get, just give me a second, I'm waking up. What? He's literally a police officer at the front door. A police officer? Literally a police officer right at the front door like right Let me get dressed, hang on. He's literally a police officer at the front door. They want you. What? Yes, I'm look at the cameras. Police right there and he's waiting for you at the front door. Yeah, he keeps knocking. He's waiting for you. No. Yes. I'm why, not why would there, why would he the said cops be about here? A fire truck. He said you're under arrest, but I don't understand why you'd be under arrest. It's probably he's because I wasn't supposed to be driving that thing and it broke down. Door. Just go talk to him. He's he's still waiting. He's been there for like 10 minutes. We literally tried to stop for a while, didn't we, Chris? Yeah, we did. He's getting angry. But I'm thinking maybe try calling mom first. Call my mom? Yeah. What's that going to do, Chris? Well, what did they say I'm not here? Well, I can't lie. I'm just, I'll, I'll, I'll try. Just say something. Say, like, say I'm, uh, I, I, you, thought I, you thought I was here, but, uh. I can't lie. I can't, I, you can't lie to the police officer. He's right there. The cops are actually here. Yes, I told you. Is it from yesterday? It said something about the fire truck and you left it abandoned on the road. They did say they ran your plates. Maybe that's how they got your address. Well, they're asking for you. Yeah, well, my name's probably on the title. That's probably why. It's my name's probably in the system. Time. Warning, the following video features stunts and activities performed either by professionals or under the supervision of professionals. Do not attempt to recreate or reenact any stunt or activity performed in this video. In order to understand what's going on, I need to explain what I did yesterday. It all started at the Timur house when I pulled out $10,000 in cash. The very next morning, I woke up at 5 a.m. to travel to the airport with Matt. And that is where we hit our first snag. The security line at the airport was tremendously long and we almost missed our flight. Oh no. We got security out. Oh, it's the longest. So your pre-check? Yeah. Right through here? So I flew through security. Pre-check was a breeze. Highly recommend getting that if you guys travel a lot. But Matt doesn't have it, so he's stuck in the regular line. The flight is boring, so I'm walking to the gate. I'm gonna go scope it out. I'm gonna see how much time he has. He thinks he's roughly halfway through, but I think this is a really good shot of us actually missing the flight today. <laughs> he made it. Let's go. <laughs> So come on, come on, come on, let's go. Like last one's on the plane, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's go, let's go check. But once we got on, everything was smooth sailing. We flew from North Carolina all the way to New York, where then we got in an Uber 45 minutes later to go buy another fire truck. This is where things started getting sketchy. Right, right here, Carlos, it's Matt and Carter. How's it nice going, Jim? I don't know where the previous owner got it from, but I gave him $10,000 in cash. Everything was great, and we started driving the fire truck home. First stop was to drive it from New York to my brother Steven's house in Philly. It has to be tall enough for fire trucks, right? Look how low this like, is, it looks guys. Like we're gonna hit it for sure. Oh, I bet you it's like a lot. I mean, we might have like six feet, but it looks like it looks, close. It looks really close. I mean, we're definitely gonna hit some branches, I would imagine. Yeah. I guess it does fit. I don't know where the fill is. It's like half. I can, want me to hop out so you can pull up. I got it. Right there. So, can we do that one? Yes. Yeah. My first time I saw, I would think you don't have a own gas station. Mostly, cop have a own pump. Yeah. You don't have a fiber again, people. Well, we're moving it from counties. Oh, oh. Yeah. Okay, that says five ton weight limit ahead. Bridge next right, which is us. We're turning there? Yeah. And we can't do that. Five ton weight limit. Okay. So you can't do the bridge. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you see that tiny bridge? We, we wouldn't even clear it. You thought it was that small? It was a one way little skinny thing. Out a tire. The tire completely exploded and we were stranded in the middle of the road. I think that's a tire. Yep, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a tire. That's a tire. Yep. Oh. That's not good. Oh, that is a... That's a tire. That's a tire. Yeah. Okay. This truck was so big and we couldn't drive it anywhere that we were there for hours and hours. So we've been calling around all kinds of places. I even called the local fire department, which is like less than a mile that way. Nobody can help us. Um, a lot of places the truck needs to go in. It's all kinds of different things. So we're just trying to find any situation to get this truck off the road. Probably like 15 to 20 phone calls. We finally have a situation figured out. We have a solution. Hey, Steve. Hey, Carter. So, yeah, not exactly going to plan right now. Uh-oh. If you can meet us here and be here when the tow truck comes and the tow truck can take our truck and then we can ride with you and then figure this out a couple days later. Okay. Um, you just send me your location. All right, well, I'll okay. see you in, I guess, about an hour or less. Okay. 
Yeah, probably an hour. I'll call you when I'm heading out. All right, perfect. And eventually cops started to show up. The first one pulled up and just drove straight by. The second cop pulled up, asked if we were okay, and then left. And then the third cop came. The third cop was way more interested. He started asking a bunch of questions. So what's going on with it? I had a tire blow out in the front. Okay. We've got a truck coming, superior towing. How far out did they say they were? Uh, it should be less than an hour now, hopefully. You guys with the fire department? No. No? Mm -hmm. All right. Then he helped us out and started directing traffic for the next couple hours while the tow truck showed up. Once the tow truck got there, we started to know something was a little off. Once Steven got there to pick us up, the cops ran the place to his truck. We knew we needed to get out of there because trouble was coming. He's calling in Steven's place. I don't know what he's doing, but he's calling in Steven's place. The tow truck is loading up the fire truck and our focus is to get out of here before the cop decides to talk to us again. So we hopped in the car and as we were leaving, he came up to the car and said this. Let me see who was driving the vehicle, you or him? Uh, it was my. You guys know me. Yeah. Somebody still with the vehicle then? Yes. Okay, all right, I'll come catch up with him then. Perfect, you. thank you. The cop was definitely looking for someone, but he said we were free to go, so we left. Thank you. He was definitely looking for the owner of this fire truck and we got out of there just in the nick of time. That now brings us to current time, the next day. I think it's the same cop outside and he's looking for me. He found Steven's address because he ran the plate to the car and he knows the owner of the fire truck is me because my name is on the title. I'm not sure what to do, let's find out. What does it ask why he's here? I did, he said for the fire truck. But like why, well, who cares about a fire truck? He said like, you left it abandoned on the road or something. No, we got it towed, but just go talk to him again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out the balcony door. What the heck is he doing here? He's not feeling too well today. Is there a chance you can come back with him? I don't care how well he's doing. This is not good. <sighs> okay, guys, this was actually something I was really worried about. I think there's something to do with like having a big truck like that. It's antique, it's old. I'm not even sure if it's legal to own a fire truck. This is the second fire truck that I've owned, except this one broke down. I thought everything was fine until the very end of yesterday as we were leaving. The officer ran Steven's plates. And what that means is when you run the plates, you get a lot of information about the person that owns the car so they know Steven's address. That's probably why they knew to come here. We also know about the fire truck. What? He's, he's not leaving. I, I said you weren't feeling well. He needs to see me? I said, I said, can you come back another day? He's not feeling well. He said, I don't care how good he feels or something. No, this you might need to get a full outfit on like what you would wear today. What would I wear today? I don't know. The snacks, water bottle? Call mom. Yeah. You gotta get something. He has Chris, can you call mom? He has handcuffs on in the back. What if you call mom and ask what I should do? You call her. Look, he's right there. Page, he's paging more people. He's definitely calling in something. He said that he would call more people if we didn't get kicked fast enough. Okay, well, let me get my shoes on and go talk to him finally. I have a plan. What? I'm gonna be up on the balcony. He can't arrest me if I'm up here. He's also not legally allowed to come inside the house. I'm just gonna talk to him, but I don't want him to throw me in handcuffs. My cops get crazy. I'll go down here. Okay. He's out there. Hi, officer. Uh, what seems to be the problem? Oh no, that got taken care of. We're all good. We got it towed off. Well, you know, it's not legal to own a fire truck unless you're a firefighter. But I, I, bought, I have the title and everything for him. It doesn't matter, sir. Come on down here and we can talk. Party, you might just have to come down. Steve, officer, I, uh, I think everything is okay. Let's just. Do I need to come up there, sir? No. No. Here, I'll go talk to him. I'll go talk to him. This is not good. Well, I don't know what to do either. He's being really weird. What cop is like that? I feel like something is... I think you gotta go talk to him. I think it's the same cop as yesterday. It looks like the same exact car. It's probably the guy that was directing traffic the whole day yesterday, and he the guy, same one that ran your plates. It's gotta be. And it's he just came the next day. That's what they find in that house. Because we, we drove away last second, and I think he... That's probably why he's mad. Yeah. All right, just go out there and talk to him. No, let me call him. I'm gonna call mom. I'm gonna, let me just ask mom real quick. And this, it's not FaceTime. Uh, Hello? Hey, mom? It's Carter. Yeah. Um, Hold on a second. Hold on. So what happened? Tell me what happened. Well, yesterday I bought that fire truck and I was driving it home and the tire exploded. Yeah. So we were blocking traffic for like four hours and a bunch of cops came and they thought we were part of the fire department. You guys with the fire department? They didn't do anything then, but then I think they realized towards the end we weren't with the fire department and it's not legal to buy a fire truck like that. I tried to stall some more time. He's coming. All right, he's coming. Okay. Oh. I, I don't know. 
it. I, I gotta answer. He's pissed. He's, he's mad. You gotta answer the door. Yes? You're gonna turn around with your hands behind your back. What? Carter! 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 Ask, where am I going, officer? Yes, where I'm going. You're going downtown. Mom, he's going downtown. Where? where? How do I? Get which home? which town? The Philly Station on 30th Street. Philly? Yeah, that's where we're taking him. Steve, what do I do? Do you want mom to meet you there? Mom, we meet him there. Hey, all right, guys. I think I know where he is. Oh, Dad, we need to get an attorney. All right, we're going. We're getting out of here. We're taking you down to the station. Carter, this is not good. This is not good. I'm not, I don't, I'm not dressed in jail. I told you to put shoes on, Carter. <laughs> I have shoes on. Oh my goodness, okay. I, Firefighter. I'm recording, Carter, so I have this on camera. I'm to walk the grass. Oh no, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, this is not good. Carter, say your last words to mom. Oh my <laughs> we got you. Why? Look where the officer is. Matt? <laughs> you didn't see? I don't get it. Carter, is mom? Mom's all in it. We got you good. We got him good. We got you good. Okay, well, let me out of the cop car. <laughs> Maybe I'll leave you in a little bit longer. Steve, just. You lot. stole my cars. The cops are pissed though. No, they're not. Yes, they are. They ran your place yesterday. That okay. was real. Well, the, not, nothing happened after that. They're not actually that mad. So it is legal to own a fire truck? Yeah, you can do whatever you want with a fire truck. Okay, well, let me out. Uh, maybe we'll leave him in a little bit longer. A little bit. I got, every, I got everyone in on this, Carter. Grace, Matt. I thought it was real. Well, she thought it was real. Yeah, you didn't even see that. You're too scared. You're too scared. Okay. It's too real because the cops are actually mad. Too real, that's why it's the perfect prank. I got you. Hey Carter, are they really gonna come after you? Well, apparently today was just a prank, but I don't know what the actual cops are because they did run Steven's plate, so I'm really scared that they might roll up and try to give me a ticket or something. I don't know. Maybe they will. Wait a minute, what, what, what plate? On his uh, truck, I don't know. Well, I gotta go, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Okay, well that was crazy, you actually did get me. I'm, I was freaking out, I don't know if you can tell. If you guys wanna see all the BTS of how you set it up, I'm sure it's, you posted it on your channel. Oh yeah, come see the- And story. Matt, I was so scared, I didn't see Matt or the security, it doesn't even say cop, it says Philadelphia security. I just, it, uh, best frag that's ever been pulled on me, but I'll see you guys in the next vlog, go check it out on Steven's channel. Woo! Yeah. Woo!